If you like these stories and you want to follow the giants along on their adventures, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. The Mermaid Who Couldn't Swim It had been raining all week up on the giant's mountain. The kids were getting pretty squirrely from being inside most of the time. They found their dad and begged him to tell one of his famous stories. Please, Dad, I really want to hear one of your stories. Well, okay. Have I ever told you the story about the time I met the mermaid princess who didn't know how to swim? No, you never told us you met a mermaid. Well, I have met a mermaid, and she did not know how to swim. What? Dad, that doesn't even make sense. Mermaids know how to swim. You're right. Most mermaids do know how to swim. But this one had no idea how to swim. When I was a boy, I was walking on the beach, and I heard some crying coming from behind a rock. So I walked over, and I peeked behind, and do you know what I saw? What, Dad? What'd you see? Well... That's when I met the mermaid princess. Wow, a mermaid princess was just sitting behind a rock on the beach? Yup. And I asked her why she was crying. She told me, I'm crying because I'm a mermaid and mermaids are supposed to know how to swim and I don't know how to swim. I said, oh yeah, mermaids are supposed to know how to swim. I can see why you're so upset, but maybe I could teach you how to swim. She looked at me with tears in her eyes still and said, That would be great. Can you teach me right now? I told her, Well, there's no time but the present to learn how to swim. I'm the giant. What's your name? My name's Avisa. My dad's name is King Triton. I have seven sisters and they all know how to swim. I'm the littlest one. And then I realized, wait a second, you're Ariel's sister? Yeah, how do you know about Ariel? She asked me. Well, I've heard all the stories about Ariel, and she wanted to have legs and walk on land. You're her sister? For real? Yes, I'm the littlest sister. Oh, they never talked about you in the books. Of course they haven't talked about me in the books. I'm a mermaid that doesn't know how to swim. Not for long, you're not, I told her. First, I'm going to run home and get my swimsuit on, and then I'll meet you back here, and we'll start swimming. So I ran home and told my parents I was going to teach a mermaid how to swim. They thought I was joking and just kept laughing at me. But I didn't let that mermaid down, and I went right back to the beach like I told her I would. I put out my hand and said, Climb in. We'll go out into the water and start our swimming lessons. She didn't really want to climb in my hand, but she really wanted to learn how to swim. So she let me lift her up and carry her out into the water, where she couldn't touch the bottom, but I could. I told her to swing her arms around like a fan and to kick her tail. So she did this while she was in my hand, and I moved her around in the water, and slowly I lowered my hand away from her, and then she started sinking. But while I was watching her, I saw what the problem was as to why she couldn't swim. You see, when mermaids swim, they swoosh their tails up and down, like a dolphin or a whale. But this mermaid kept swishing her tail back and forth like a fish. But her tail wasn't 
put on like a fish, it was put on like a dolphin. So I said, a visa. The problem is, you are swishing your tail the wrong way. Instead of going back and forth, you have to go up and down. See, look at those dolphins swimming over there. Move your tail just like those dolphins. Oh, well, that's a pretty easy fix. Okay, let me try. So she went back on my hand and started moving her arms and like a fan and then swishing her tail up and down like she was supposed to. Then Alisa swam. She swam forward. She swam down. She swam up to the surface and she jumped. She made a dolphin jump out of the water and then splashed perfectly back into the water. She dived and swirled and danced under the water. She knew how to swim now. Well, thank you, Giant, for teaching me how to swim. You know what? We're having a birthday party for my mom in two days. Do you want to come with me to the birthday party? I want to introduce everybody to you. My swim teacher. Wow, I'm invited to a mermaid party for a queen? Yes, I'm going to come with you. But how can I go underwater if I can't breathe under there? Well, my dad's King Triton, and sometimes he has visitors come down underwater to visit him, and they can't breathe underwater, so he gives them special oxygen tanks. That way, they can go down under the water to meet with my dad, but they then can use the oxygen to breathe under the water. I bet we could just let you borrow one of those so you can join the party. I was so excited to get invited to a mermaid party. Of course, I had to say yes. Well, yeah, I want to come. So, the party was in two days. We had two days to get ready. The mermaid princess wanted to wait until then to show her whole family that she knew how to swim. So we decided that we would take that time and build an underwater carriage. And then I would pull her in in the carriage before she would show everyone all that she had learned about swimming. We spent those two days searching around the beach for giant clamshells. We finally found one big enough that would fit the mermaid in it. So we took it and we took half of it off and then we got some seaweed and we braided it together. We attached it to the clamshell carriage. And that way I could pull her on it under the water and she would just sit on it. And while we were working on that, Avisa was also working on a special dance that she would do to show everyone how good of a strong swimmer she could be. And finally, the day came. I put on my best swim trunks and met Avisa at the beach. She wore her party shirt and her party necklace, and she got on the carriage so I could pull her down. It wasn't a very long swim for a giant, that is, so I was able to get there in no time. Then I took a deep breath and I dived under the water with her behind me in the carriage. When we got to the spot, I started diving down and I could see all of these lanterns and lights flashing for the party. It was very easy to spot. I swam over and I knocked on the door. A mermaid answered the door. Avisa explained everything to that mermaid and told the mermaid to get her mermaid family to come to the door so she could show them how she could swim. A minute later, her whole family was lined up outside of the underwater castle. Slowly, Avisa got out of the carriage and began to swim. She did swirlies going up, swirlies going down. She did big giant circles. And while she was showing off all of her new swimming, she swam backwards. 
and everyone cheered. They had never seen a mermaid swim backwards before. But because she was swimming wrong for so long, she learned how to move her tail in a new way that none of the others knew how to do. And that is why she was able to go backwards. I have learned how to swim. This kind giant has taught me everything. It was actually pretty simple. I just was wagging my tail the wrong way the whole time. Then her whole family cheered for me and for Avisa. Then her mom said, let's start the party. So we all partied. King Triton gave me an oxygen tank so I could breathe underwater and I didn't have to keep going up for air. It was so fun. They served little sushis and seaweed salads and sea cucumber sandwiches and crustacean cakes. There was even a glow-in-the-dark fish light show. And at the end, they awarded me with this seashell crown. That's when Dad Giant pulled out his seashell crown and showed the giant children. Whoa, Dad! You really did teach Avisa how to swim! That's so crazy! You taught a mermaid how to swim! Bo said. Well, of course I did. You would have done the same, right? Yeah, yeah, we would. We would help the mermaid. Well, next time we go to the beach, maybe we can go visit Avisa and her family. Yes, please, Dad, let's go visit Avisa sometime. We all want to meet mermaids. All right, we can. Just don't bring up the not knowing how to swim thing. I still think she might be a little embarrassed about that. The end. Good night, giants. What if you got a chance to visit the mermaids and wear one of their special oxygen tanks? Would you go? Would you dive down in the water and find out what they do? Would you eat the food that they served? Would it be too strange if you dived under the water would your hair float around what questions would you have for the mermaids would the mermaids own any pets would they keep starfish in a tank If you stayed there during bedtime, would you float in the water as you slept? Do mermaids use blankets? Would you try to sleep on your stomach, on your side, or on your back? you could find the answer to